given everything that's transpired over the last week or so, it's only appropriate that a goalkeeper saved the crew. Goalkeeper Zach Steffen made two saves in a penalty shootout and was helped by the post as well, and the Columbus crew withstood Atlanta United's attack and an MLS playoff record crowd at Mercedes-Benz Stadium to prevail 3-1 in penalties after a 0-0 draw and advance in the MLS playoffs. Goals were promised, but the goalkeepers were the stars. Two of MLS's most talented attacks went head-to-head -head and did not disappoint, playing to as thrilling of a 0-0 draw as you'll see. Stefan and Atlanta goalkeeper Brad Guzan ensured it stayed scoreless, and each came up big in the shootout. Stefan stuffed Julian Gressel on a sensational diving, saved to open the round and followed that up by holding his ground for Leandro Gonzalez Perez's straightforward attempt. After conceding once, he was helped by the post, as Jeff Lorento which clanged his chance off the woodwork on Atlanta's fourth try. Guzan conceded on Gonzalo Higuain's Penanca, but saved a Kakuta man a chance before conceding to rookie Nico Hansen in reserve forward Adam John, sending over 67,000 home stunned at the conclusion of what had otherwise been a remarkable expansion season. Columbus, which entered the playoffs unbeaten in 10 matches, 6-0-4, will brace for a conference semifinal series against New York City FC including a home game in the first leg that is sure to be a spectacle for reasons both on and off the field. On it, NYCFC was 1-0-1 in their two matchups, winning 3-2 in late April, before playing a riveting 2-2 draw in the regular season finale with the draw preserved by Stefan's PK saved on David Villa. Here are three thoughts on Stefan's latest heroics, and an MLS playoff classic, Columbus's home game is must-see material. Will Trapp told reporters prior to the playoff opener that MLS doesn't want to see Columbus succeed in the playoffs, with the backdrop being everything surrounding the club and owner Anthony Precord potentially uprooting it to Austin, Texas. Well, if that's case, then this renegade team and its passionate fan base has all the motivational material it needs, and the first leg versus NYCFC, which Columbus will host, will be must-see theater. There's vitriol for ownership in the league. There's passion for a team that is clearly playing its tail off with a point to prove. There's a drive to save the club and keep it where it's been since MLS's inaugural year. Within that, there's certainly a conflict, but no crew Diahert is going to settle for anything less than giving his or her all in the stands on this rare confluence of storylines. Columbus finished with more points than any team in the Western Conference. If it reaches MLS Cup, it'll host the title game. Just imagine what the scene would be like then. Goalkeepers, woodwork prevent a go-fist. Two dynamic attacks were subdued, but not due to a lack of chances. Guzan and Stefan were both on their games and both received their fair share of help from the frame behind them as well. Stefan got a fingertip to Miguel Amiron's blast that hit the bar in the 11th minute, then swatted Chris McCann's rare long-range blast over the bar nine minutes later. In the second half, his flying save prevented Perez's header from opening the scoring in the 66th minute.